Bonjour mes amis, Dragoon ici, and today we're going to be installing the old hard drive from the iPod 4th generation into another iPod 4th generation. Why would we want to do that? No SSDs involved. Well, since we already did our SSD thing, we have an extra hard drive now that we just took out of the other one. This is uh, the monochrome version of the fourth generation. As you can hear, it's having some problem. A lot of problems. So it sounds like a bad hard disk. And since it's the same generation, it shouldn't have any problems with me just installing this in there and then just getting it working again. We can just reformat it if it's a problem. So again, we're going to be using uh, a Swiss Army knife to open this. I don't remember how I did this. Again, we're not doing any damage to the case. Well, we are. But you can't see it. I can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. Ugh. So you sort of have to push that in there. Aha! Uh -huh. And then you... I'm a, I'm a little nervous, actually, because it's been a while since I did this, and... I'm probably just going to push this down. It's going to cut right into my hand, isn't it? <laughs> I haven't had a good luck with uh, sharp things lately. This is a little bit more resistant than the last one. Ooh, there it is. So I gotta work it. Ooh. Well, that's progress. Easier to get it back in again. The tab is on the top and the bottom. See that? Right there and right there. As you can see, it's working its way around the side already. I can almost start to pull it apart right now. So many potentials for ways for me to cut myself, I swear to god. Ah! Huh! What is that? Is that just like glue? Something's gone wrong. <laughs> I forgot how this thing goes together. Okay, looks pretty much the same. We've seen all this before. Um, same hard disks. That one looks a little bit thicker. It doesn't really matter. Well, we're almost done actually. We're about 70, I want to say 70% done now. This is the only troublesome part here. Put the soylent bottle there. Just hold this up so I can... Interesting little... This is just totally free to move. Yeah. And for those of you who are curious, the IDE adapter for this that I had, that I was hooking up to the drive enclosure, yeah, that, um, that, that definitely did burn out. So the oval side is on this side. It went in okay, I mean... I guess we could just put it back together, right? <laughs> Ah, but now we're getting a different error, because it the drive inside is poopy, or has poopy uh, data on it. So I think we can just snap this back together. Is there anything I'm missing here? It's probably something. Something important. I got it apart so easily, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with it. Looks like it's bulging a little bit there.
Oh! That was satisfying, okay. Okay, cool. So let's plug it into, well, I guess let's plug it into the computer that's in front of me, because I don't want to get up. I just made the, like, the biggest, most pure, awesome burp almost ever that I've ever done. And wouldn't you know it, I actually um, turned the camera off when it happened. Oh well. Okay, I plugged it in. iTunes has detected an iPod that appears to be corrupted. You may need to restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. You may also try disconnecting and reconnecting the iPod. Alright, so I'm going to restore it. iPod software 3.1.1 for iPod with click wheel. Now, I I never, I didn't, I can't remember if I tried plugging it into the, to the computer. I'm pretty sure this is bad. I never tried plugging it into the computer. I mean, I just heard the clicking. Oh yeah, I'm going to restore it, unplug, and connect it to external power. See, now I'm second-guessing myself, but what if this isn't bad and it's just cl I'm pretty sure it's a clicky drive. I'm gonna throw this away, I'm gonna recycle this, even though its foam is intact, I didn't rip it apart! <laughs> so I'm gonna recycle this, just because I have enough crap, so um, I think that'll just be about it. Let me try and load something onto it. Um, it's plugged in. What you... you want more power? <laughs> Plug it into the iPhone. There it is. <laughs> into the iPhone adapter. It didn't like my poop adapter. My LG adapter, whatever this is. There it goes. So there it is. And if you want to take a look at this, I'm going to have to leave this plugged in. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Making videos, it's harder than you think. <laughs> you can't even see what's happening. <laughs> okay. Alright, we got a lot of light here. Let's not so accidentally choose this one. So as you can see, it... D damn it! <laughs> it is detecting my... I'm trying to actually use the iPod through um, through the actual viewfinder of the camera because I can't look at it because there's too much glare and when I make it to look at me um, uh, you can't see it so I can I can barely read it oh my god I forgot to translate that I guess that's for people who accidentally <laughs> set their language to something they can't read well obviously there's nothing on there but let's put something on there that seems to match up with the theme we have going on here We'll plug it. Plug it back in. Welcome to your new iPod. This cracks me up every time. Welcome to your new iPod. Yeah, that's that's exactly what my new product looks like today, Apple thinks. I got this fresh out of a box. I just bought it somewhere and I'm really excited. Oh my god. So we're gonna keep it manually managed. And I'm going to go ahead and sync on some music. I can feel the hard drive turning away. Don't you wish you could use your iPod while you're trying to film it on a slippery surface? Every single time you try to do anything, the iPod just moves and you can't film it. Introducing Knock Off Mighty Putty. The new way you can make sure your iPod doesn't move on camera so you'll never have a problem with it moving around again but wait there's more I'll throw in not two but three pieces of Mighty Putty with your order call now why don't I do this more often
Ah, this is a little bit too much Mighty Putty. This isn't actually Mighty Putty, it's just, um, like, poster sticky tack. Ah. Okay, the sinking is completed. And we'll have something that, like I said, matches the theme here. And, um, since we can't have any of this music actually on the channel, um, without some serious consequences, Let's go ahead and, uh, let me just give it the seal of approval by, uh, sort of giving you a sort of paraphrased sort of, uh, demo cover. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, this was a very simple hard disk replacement, something we've all seen a couple of times since I've been taking them in and taking them out. And we're probably pretty well familiar with this connector by now, which by now I've, I've already forgotten the name of. Um, I believe it's still pin compatible with IDE as far as I know, but even I still managed to fuck that up because why else would my uh, fuse have blown on my IDE adapter? Something must have gone wrong. Well, everybody, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll probably see you pretty soon. Have a good one.